This piece of legislation, I think, uh, is something which uh, has been awaited for quite a while because, as you all know, um, as part of the process of modernizing and reviewing our investment uh, promotion and protection regime in this country, we have, in fact, uh, already given notice to terminate uh, a number of bilateral investment treaties. And one of the points that has come out is, uh, well, where's the alternative? And I think that uh, the bill uh, is actually uh, our answer uh, to that one. Uh, as you all know, um, the, uh, in July 2010, uh, Cabinet uh, decided that uh, we should uh, work towards uh, an investment law, um, an investment law that would contain a number of the protections of the sort uh, of a broad family that are, are normally uh, incorporated uh, into bilateral investment agreements. So it was published on Friday, the 1st of November, and it's open uh, for public comment for a period of three months. Uh, we are uh, intending to close the discussion at the end of January next year. We're inviting uh, all stakeholders to submit comments that they may have, and uh, then we will, uh, as usual, we will consider those comments and then we will come back with uh, uh, certain revisions. And we think that this is a significant milestone on our uh, journey to modernize our investment regime. We believe that the bill will confirm that South Africa remains open to foreign investment, uh, that we <coughs> are as a country providing robust and significant protection to foreign investors. The bill will not impose any new obligations on foreign investors, but we do believe that it strikes a balance between the rights and obligations of investors and also of government, particularly with respect to government's constitutional obligations to safeguard uh, public interest. Now, I think I should say that, in fact, what we will be doing with this bill is we will be extending those protections to investors from a whole range of countries and, and, and uh, uh, with whom we have got no bilateral investment treaties at the moment. So countries like the United States, like Japan, uh, many uh, countries uh, such as the Gulf countries, ASEAN countries, uh, most of the African continent, uh, where we don't have any um, bilateral investment treaties, uh, as well as South African investors, will be covered by the provisions of this particular piece of legislation.